By the end of this video, you will learn 8 Essential Swimming Pool Cleaning Equipment and Maintenance Tips. Also, you will learn an alternatives to chlorine you could consider. Let's consider the first pool cleaning equipment, which is 1. Telescopic Pole Telescopic poles are made of aluminium or plastic material. Telescopic handle poles measures about 5 feet to 15 feet, 1.5 meters to 4.5 meters, and can be used with vacuum heads, pool net, or pool brushes, or pool rakes, or pool skimmers and other swimming pool cleaning and maintenance set. Telescopic pole features an external locking cam that adjusts to desired length and locks into place by simply tightening the cam. The pole is helpful to remove leaves off the surface of the swimming pool when cleaning the pool surface or inside the pool, etc. If your telescopic pole would slip and wouldn't stay fixed and also be very hard to loosen, try any DIY tool to fix it. Store away your telescopic pole on a pole hanger. 2. Skimmer net. The benefits of skimmer for a pool are too significant to ignore. One type is the net you attach to the end of a telescoping pole and use to fish leaves and other debris out of your pool. Pretty simple, but it's an essential piece of equipment you should have on hand. The most evident benefit of having a pool skimmer is cleaning out anything that falls into your pool. Skimmers generally have a good enough length that it is easy enough to reach over and simply clear out the water. It prevents debris from being sucked into your pool water pipes which may end up clogging them. As the name suggests, a pool cleaner skims and removes dirt from the water. Like the robotic pool skimmers are designed to draw water from the surface and suck it through the pool's filtration system. About the top 1 8 inch of water is drawn into the skimmer helping remove the contaminants. And debris such as sunscreen, hair and leaves from the pool before they sink to the bottom. For an in-ground pool, skimmers are sort of like little buckets built into the side of the pool. They hold baskets, which performs a similar function to the handheld leaf skimmer, keeping leaves, twigs, and other debris from making their way into your filter. Or, if you have an above-ground pool, you likely have the kind that float around in the water doing the same things. Some skimmers are usually rectangular-shaped, and are placed around the pool, toward the tops of the walls. The water level usually covers about the bottom half of the skimmers. Clean out your pool skimmer at least once a week. That basket is catching all kinds of funky things that fall into your pool. You don't want it just sitting there for long. The longer it sits, the higher the probability that it will start to break up and then decay. And then you'll have tiny, nasty bits floating around in your water. If you have a lot of trees in your backyard, if it's been windy, you've had storms. Or if any other condition exists that gives you reason to believe your skimmer may fill up with debris pretty quickly. You'll want to check it more often. If the skimmer is inside the pool, all you have to do is take the cover off the skimmer. Reach in and pull the basket out, and discard whatever is in the basket. Then put it back in the skimmer, replace the cover, and you're done. If the basket looks dingy, or it's caught some particularly yucky things, like dead bugs, you can give it a spray with the hose before replacing it. If you feel it needs to be cleaned further than that, a mild multi-purpose spray will do the trick. 3. Pool Brush Brushing helps to dissolve and disperse the chemicals so they won't etch, stain or scale the surface. Stain or algae removal. Stains and algae cannot be removed by mere pool chemicals alone, there must be some physical persuasion. Like the dinner dishes, they need a little soap and scrubbing to become clean. Brushing will help prevent the buildup of mineral deposits along the waterline. Brush to prevent stains. Different types of stains can occur in your pool brush to prevent algae. Every pool can grow algae. But plaster, quartz, and aggregate finishes are more susceptible. How often do you need to brush your pool? At least twice a week, brush the walls, ladders, slides and corners of your pool and other accessories. Be sure to get into every nook and cranny possible to brush away any lurking algae formations. Brushing will push the algae into the water, making it easier for chlorine or other sanitizer to kill it. Brush sediment toward the main drain so it can be vacuumed up easily. 4. Manual Vacuum Sparkling clean pool water is possible without a pool vacuum. But before using manual vacuum, firstly, use a deep leaf net to get out the majority of the leaves. Using a pool vacuum and sending that much debris into your filter will just immediately clog it. If you don't have an automatic pool cleaner you can use manual pool vacuum. 
A nylon or rubber brush is the correct choice for scrubbing the sides of a soft-sided above-ground pool. Standard hoses on shop vacs are usually not long enough to reach to the bottom of a pool, so you will need to attach an extension. If dirt is reappearing at the bottom of your swimming pool after you've vacuumed it, then your pool's filter may be working poorly. Pool filters often work poorly because they're in need of cleaning. If you have a sand filter for your pool you need to make sure that the sand is sharp and freshened up. Suction pool vacuum cleaners rely on the suction side of the pool equipment to clean. They connect to the pool skimmer or a dedicated suction line and work around the pool collecting debris and sending it out through the pool's filtration system. Don't forget to pause the video at any time. And, if you are getting knowledge from the video, subscribe, like and share. You will get daily to weekly educational video topics like this. Next. 5. Automatic Pool Cleaner. Automatic pool cleaners are often not perfect, and they can be more expensive. But the convenience and time saving that they provide might be totally worth it. Automatic cleaners help disperse heated pool water more evenly as they stir up the water more than just your pool jets can. Your robotic pool cleaner removes everything from large leaves to algae as small as 2 microns with its easy-to-clean, reusable state-of-the-art filter bag. 6. Water pH Tester. The pool pH meter is the ideal measuring instrument for every swimming pool owner who values optimal water quality. The pool water's pH is tested for, using a phenol red test tablet. Apart from the tablets, you can get phenol red test in a liquid form. The tablet dissolves in the water sample turning the water anything from yellow to red. The degree of color change establishes the pH of the water. Testing the water's total alkalinity level is important but not needed as frequently. Strip testing is a fast and easy solution to testing the pH of your pool's water. All you need to do is simply dip a pH strip tester in your pool's water and compare the color it turns to a chart. Most pH testing strips come with a chart that you can use to determine the pH of your pool. As pH falls below 7.0 the acidic condition will cause irritation to the eyes and mucous membranes of swimmers. Low pH, acidic water, can also corrode metal parts of a pool system and damage the plaster finish. The state standard for pH is 7.2 to 8.0, recommended range is 7.4 to 7.6. If the pH gets higher than 7.8, the water is becoming too alkaline. When water is too alkaline, it reduces the effectiveness of the chlorine, the pool chemical that kills pathogens. Water with a pH that's too high also can cause skin rashes, cloudy water and scaling on pool equipment. With a pH level of 6.0 your chlorine will be highly effective with 97% of your chlorine available to kill bacteria and algae. However, at 6.0 your pool water would be extremely acidic and unsafe to swim in. 7. pH increaser and reducer. pH increaser is basically sodium carbonate designed to raise the acid level of pool water. With most pH increaser there is no waiting period to swim. It's compatible with other swimming pool chemicals such as chlorine and it will leave no residue in the pool water. To bring down pH, use a made-for-pools chemical additive called pH reducer, or pH minus. The main active ingredients in pH reducers are either muriatic acid or sodium bisulfate, also called dry acid. Reducers are readily available at pool supply stores, home improvement centers and online. pH reducer can be added directly to the pool water to reduce the pH to a desirable level. For the chlorine to remain effective, the pH level should be kept below 7.6. However if the pH level drops too low then the water can start to degrade pumps and liners, so aim to keep the pH level between 7.2 and 7.6. Alternatively, lower the pH of the water by measuring out 4 cups of vinegar and pouring it directly into the pool. You can use either white household vinegar or apple cider vinegar. To lower the pH, the most common liquid acid used is muriatic acid, also known as hydrochloric acid. Next, 8. Chlorine. Why is chlorine added to swimming pools? Chlorine is added to the water to kill germs. When chlorine is added to a swimming pool, it forms a weak acid called hypochlorous acid that kills bacteria like Salmonella and E. coli, as well as germs that cause viruses such as diarrhea and swimmer's ear. Sodium hypochlorite is best for pools with high calcium hardness and has around 10% to 12% chlorine. 
Sodium hypochlorite is very effective fighting against microorganisms and removing stains. Calcium hypochlorite is the most popular type with around 65% chlorine. Having too much chlorine in your pool water can be dangerous. Exposure to high levels of chlorine can cause lung irritation, skin and eye damage, and provoke asthma. High chlorine levels decrease the pH of your pool's water, making it more acidic. Next, let's consider tips to lower the chlorine level in your pool. A. Stop adding more chlorine. And just start swimming in the pool with your family and friends. This will contaminate the pool, this will dilute the chlorine level. But this is not a good solution if your chlorine levels are too high above normal because this could cause irritation for certain swimmers. Alternatively, use the sunshine. Alternatively, heat the pool water. Alternatively, dilute the pool with additional fresh water. Alternatively, add vitamin C, ascorbic acid, but requires a lot to be effective. Alternatively, use hydrogen peroxide. You'll need to get food grade, 35%, hydrogen peroxide that's specifically made for pools since the human version isn't strong enough for the task. Alternatively, use a chlorine neutralizing product. Alternatively, try adding sodium thiosulfate to the pool. Alternatively, drain and replace some pool water, but this drains the other chemicals in your pool too, so make sure to do a pool water test when you're done. Any of the aforementioned can help to lower the level of chlorine in your pool. Next. Let's discuss alternatives to chlorine you could consider for your pool. Chlorine, nowadays, does have several alternatives that fulfill at least the basic criteria of safety. Here are 9 alternatives you may want to consider instead of using chlorine in your swimming pool. A. Bromine. Bromine is used as an alternative to chlorine. However, it has similar properties to that of chlorine and is a halogenic compounds. Also, bromine is more expensive than chlorine. So, while it fulfills the aspects chlorine does, it is not a very preferred option. Bromine, just like chlorine, needs to be used in conjunction with other chemicals and additives. It is very difficult to stabilize and does not work well in outdoor pools. B. Ozonation. You can easily install an ozone generator. It does help reduce the amount of chlorine you use in the pool. Also, it helps degrade organic contaminants. It is not an independent alternative, and must be used in conjunction with chlorine or another sanitizer. This is because ozone does not have sufficient residual capabilities as the gas is short-lived. Also, it is expensive as for the initial investment. C. Reduction in water temperature. Reducing your water temperature to colder than normal will help slow bacterial and algal growth. Most of these microorganisms thrive and proliferate in warm to hot environments. Also, it reduces the speed of chemicals reacting with each other or human skin. So, while reducing temperature is not an independent solution, it can definitely reduce the quantity of chlorine you would have to use otherwise. The drawback here is that it is difficult for some people to swim comfortably in cold water. The method you adopt to reduce the water temperature would largely depend on the outside weather. If the climate is warm and pleasant, you can go for a pool chiller. If the outside weather is cold, you can opt for aeration or oxygenation through fountains. If you have a water heater installed, lower the thermostat level. Heaters and chillers are very expensive in comparison to other pool equipment options. Chlorine, or other sanitation systems, still must be used. However, the amount required is reduced. Probably not enough to justify the expense. Next. D. PHMB. Polyhexamethylene biguanide or PHMB is developed by certain brands such as Bacquisil and SoftSwim as an effective alternative solution to chlorination. This is a more stable ingredient than chlorine and is not affected by sunlight. Hence, it does not require a stabilizer. Also, it does not irritate the eyes or skin nor does it corrode the walls and floor of the pool. However, it is more expensive than chlorine and so is the maintenance cost of such pools. Another flip side is that you may require hydrogen peroxide as an oxidizer and clean your pool filters once in a month. Also, if converting to PHMB, it is recommended to drain out the water, which probably contained traces of chlorine. Also, when swimming, your skin or swimming suit should not have any traces of chlorine, else it may react with PHMB. E. UV light, you can use UV light and chlorine in combination with each other.
UV light works as a sanitizer and destroys most germs in the pool, while chlorine maintains the residual effect. Installing a UV light system in your pool can reduce the quantity of chlorine you would have to use and it is effective at reducing chloramines. To get the right size of UV light, you would have to calculate the flow rate of your pool. If properly sized, the UV light can destroy bacteria and viruses. UV does not provide any sanitation residual and many microorganisms can reproduce at a faster rate than water can be recirculated through the pool and the device. F. Ultrafiltration. The ultrafiltration method comprises the use of a fine sieve to remove extremely small microbes, human skin fragments, hair and so on once the basic filtering is done. Barring the required minimal amount of chlorine in the pool. All the other suspended particles, organic matters, and bacteria are picked and thrown out by this filter. This system comprises filter tubes with very thin membranes to which water is flown in a circulation loop at low pressure. These membranes have very thin semi-permeable pores through which essential disinfectants and certain salts get permeated into the pool again. So, water is purified without the use of chemicals. This technology is extremely expensive for most applications. G. Mineral water pool systems. These cartridge-based systems consist of minerals, alloys that deactivate algae and other microorganisms as water flows through its chamber. Two common brands are Pool Frog and Nature 2 and can reduce the need for chlorine up to 50%. They are easy to use and low on maintenance as you can refill the mineral cartridges. This system can be simply attached to the PVC pipes of pool systems. The drawback is that chlorine must be used and the replacement cartridges can be expensive and have to be replaced often on larger pools. H. Pristine Blue. This is a proprietary technology developed by Earth Science Laboratories. Its main ingredient comprises copper sulfate pentahydrate which constitutes up to 19.8% of its active ingredients. This technology uses the positively charged copper ions to destroy all the negatively charged bacteria and other germs in the pool. It is very effective, however, it is the most costly option to maintain a swimming pool. I. Copper ionization. This is the best available alternative so far. Copper ionization is an effective option for a chlorine-free pool. There are no residual chemicals which can cause irritation to eyes and skin. It is more cost-effective and produces healthy pool water. The copper ionization system comes with an electronic control unit, test kits, and a copper electrode. The ionization process releases metallic ions that are introduced into the water by using a low-voltage current. These positively charged, Copper ions are attracted to the negatively charged bacteria and algae and penetrate their cell membranes. As the water is recirculated, more such ions are produced. Copper ions are not affected by sunlight and hence do not require a stabilizer. Unlike chlorine and salt systems, ionizers are pH neutral, so pH maintenance is easier. These systems are easy to install and maintain and can be retrofitted to your existing chlorinated pool. Finally, as a guide, if you must have a swimming pool at home, please teach your children how to swim. Also, install proper barriers and alarms in and around your pool area. Supervise children 10 and under in and around your swimming pool. As a general guide, the first principle is that before you jump into your swimming pool, check for living or dead reptiles or creature in the pool to avoid sudden surprises. Consider other safety measures in your swimming pool. Store all chemicals used for pool maintenance away from children, locked away from sight. Everything you have learned in this video is a summarized general guide for your swimming pool maintenance. Talk to your local swimming pool specialist or contractor for what will suit your pool. If this video was helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. This is, construction. I will see you in the next video lesson.